They're tasty, they're unique, and they're not regular potatoes. So what I like to do is kind of just take my sweet potatoes and just give it a little scrub. It takes that kind of outer layer off of it. And I'm just using a wash sauce that I use, just a regular wash sauce. But it takes a little bit of that outer covering that we, that, that's on it and gets off some of those, you know, the germs, the chemicals, whatever they use when farming. Um, as well as doing a produce wash, that's really, really important. Not too worried about these kind of dark spots. They add character, so it's not a bad thing. So I'm gonna take my sweet potatoes, and you can slice it however you want. You can do um, a crinkle cut, you can do like a potato chips, a potato chip slice. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some thin narrow strips. For me, it's really, really, really important to cut these sweet potatoes into thin slices. The thinner you slice them, the, cook, the quicker they cook. Um, the thicker you slice them, the more time it takes. So that's one important thing to note as you're cutting your sweet potato fries. So now we have our fries all cut up and nice. And as you can see, I cut mine into nice little strips. And again, I wanna stress that you know, the thicker you cut them, the longer it's going to take to cut. So just, you know, try and get some thin strips there. We're going to drizzle a little olive oil just to kind of get them nice and coated. Um, you know, it helps keep them from sort of burning um, as well, helps them crisp up, you know, while they're in the oven because you're going to oven bake these french fries, these sweet potato fries. Um, and then also helps the ingredients to kind of stick. So I'm gonna take just a little salt, just a little. There we are. Mix that in there. We're gonna take some sugar. Because after all, these are sweet potatoes. I mean, come on. Some sugar. So we're gonna take some fresh rosemary. Drizzle those on there, it smells so wonderful. And the great thing about these sweet potato fries is the mixture of sweet and savory. So we have our kind of savory rosemary, our sugar, in this case I use sucanat, so our sweet sucanat, and the nice spice of canela, canela cinnamon, no? So now we have our cinnamon, our little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and our fresh rosemary. So we're gonna add this sweet potato sticks in a single layer so that it bakes evenly. We don't want it too clumpy or double layers because then you run into the issue of having some of your sweet potato sticks being not as cooked up for us. So a single layer if you can. And we're just gonna kind of bake these. Stick that right into the oven. And I'm just gonna put on the second rack at first. Let it bake for about 20 or 30 minutes or so. You wanna test it depending on your oven at 350. And then once the sweet potato sticks get soft enough, you're gonna go ahead, take it out again, and put it on broil. Put it right underneath the broiler so it can get a little crisp. And then you want to watch it. Please don't walk away or else it'll burn. And then when you take it out, you'll have a nice, crispy, but nice and soft inside sweet potato fries. For this recipe and others, check out www.naturividi.com. Join us as we nourish, nurture, and grow.